and welcome to this video with me Coach Reese. How you all doing? Hope you're doing really well. So in today's video we're going to take a look at what we mean by passes per defensive action. Now this is a stat that I read a lot when reading analysis documents of games or just general documents around analysis. So I thought I'd explain what it actually is. So passes per defensive action is used to measure pressure and it's associated with pressing. We'll often see it shortened to PPDA, just to make it easier to read because it is a mouthful. So the number that you will see associated with this is the number of passes within a team's defensive third per defensive action. Now the distance that some use to calculate will vary, some use the defensive third some use a distance of around 40 yards. So what is a defensive action? Well, a defensive action is a tackle, an interception, any challenge. Now this challenge doesn't have to be successful or a foul. So how is it calculated? So the equation for calculating passes per defensive action is number of passes from the attacking team divided by number of defensive actions from the defending team. So what does it tell us? A team with a higher passes per defensive action value will apply less pressure. So for example, a team like Liverpool, who we know press quite a lot, will have a lower passes per defensive action score. This is because, because they press, teams are less likely to play passes within their own defensive third. Flip this, so a team who don't press, who drops straight into a mid block, will have a higher passes per defensive action score because they allow the team to play out in that initial phase. So when you're analysing how a team press, Passes per defensive action is a really good stat to back up the observations that you're making and it can really, really help the detail that you get from your analysis within that press. Try not to use it in isolation. Try to use it with all the other information, data, your own observations that you're getting around how a team press. So if you have found the video useful, please like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Reese. And I will see you in the next one.